let us explore this uh, idea that uh, uh, you can describe statistical mechanics uh, just as an application of maximum entropy inference. Okay, so what is the, what is the idea? So uh, the idea is that uh, the energy uh, contains uh, all uh, information on uh, uh, the evolution of your system in phase space. And then uh, if you want a description of your system, a statistical description of your system that uh, um, uh, takes into account uh, this fact, then, uh, uh, then uh, uh, your statistical description should be a distribution, uh, uh, let me call it raw, that uh, maximizes uh, is the maximizes the entropy of all distribution on X such that uh, on all the uh, P of X such that uh, the energy is given to is given by U and this gives you the micro canonical ensemble And, um, and, uh, and 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 this uh, uh, so and, and this uh, so the, the, the function uh, that uh, uh, is going to be relevant uh, for this description is uh, the entropy, which is just the max. Of uh, the entropy of p, and this is uh, this is clearly a function of u. Or uh, otherwise, uh, uh, if you want to uh, find a description uh, which is uh, for a subsystem that is in contact with a heat bath, then what you can fix is not the energy but the expected value of the energy. Okay, uh, so and uh, in this uh, uh, maximum entropy uh, distribution gives you essentially the Boltzmann distribution, Higgs Boltzmann distribution. And this is called the uh, uh, canonical ensemble. Ensemble. Now, the <coughs> as we have seen, so this uh, uh, now this uh, uh, problem here. The, the key function in this problem is not uh, the, the entropy, but it's what is called, because essentially uh, when uh, you carry out this constraint maximization problem, then uh, uh, you, relate, you can relate this uh, to another uh, maximization problem, which we, by means of the Legendre transform, and uh, so the um, and essentially in this uh, uh, the the function that actually is optimized uh, in this case uh, is uh, um, one over theta times uh, is defined as uh, as the minimum over p of uh, uh, beta times expected value of the energy.
energy at x minus the entropy of t. So you see that uh, uh, so this uh, uh, while this function is a, is a maximum of the entropy, the free energy is instead related to a, a minimization problem is a, a minimum over all distribution because there is a minus sign here and uh, these two functions uh, are related uh, by uh, the Legend transform so uh, in the sense that uh, S of U is equal uh, to beta times U minus beta times f of beta. So this function is what uh, we call the uh, uh, psi in the other lecture. And uh, beta is what we call the minus lambda in, in, the other, uh, in the other lecture. So if you want to connect to uh, the notation that we have used uh, to discuss uh, um, uh, maximum entropy uh, problems in general. Okay. So uh, then, uh, uh, given this, uh, essentially you can uh, 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 take a, a particular system with a given Hamiltonian. You see, the Hamiltonian here enters uh, in the constraint that you have to put uh, to a maximization or a minimization problem. The, so the, the structure of the Hamiltonian is what will constrain constrain this uh, uh, maximization problem. But then, uh, uh, given this, uh, you can uh, uh, take uh, a particular system and uh, derive the macroscopic uh, behavior of your system from uh, the Hamiltonian, okay, directly. And uh, so, generally, uh, it is complicated to work uh, in the microcanonical ensemble because of this constraint, whereas it is simpler to uh, work uh, in the canonical ensemble. And, uh, and the idea, the practical idea, is that this calculation starts by computing. Uh, uh, the free energy, which is related to the uh, partition function. And if you follow what we have uh, uh, done from uh, maximum entropy infinite, then the free energy is related to minus 1 over beta times the log of z of beta. Okay. Now beta uh, here is uh, enters as the Lagrange multiplier when you uh, enforce this constraint, but physically uh, beta is the inverse of the temperature. Okay, so here beta would be 1 over Boltzmann constant times the temperature. Okay, and uh, so the recipe uh, uh, of uh, Statistical mechanics uh, for uh, a system in contact, uh, uh, in thermal contact with another system is, uh, is to compute the partition function, then take the log 1 over beta, takes minus sign, and this gives you the free energy. And as a function of the free energy, you can uh, derive uh, all uh, uh, the other uh, quantities using. Uh, the mathematics of uh, Legend transforms, okay, using uh, that relation and etc. etc. Okay, so what we are going to do next uh, in the next lectures uh, is to uh, use this uh, uh, description to uh, study uh, particular system with particular Hamiltonian and to derive the macroscopic uh, uh, system behavior of the system from what we have learned and uh, in particular uh, we will study uh, phase transitions which are uh, 
systems uh, where that uh, where the thermodynamic behavior of the system changes from uh, uh, changes qualitatively uh, as uh, um, a parameter is changed. Okay. But uh, here, what I would like to uh, remind you is that essentially, from uh, uh, so so you see all of uh, this derivation of uh, statistical mechanics, uh, um, it's all based on maximum entropy. The only input from physics is what is the uh, form of the Hamiltonian, what is the uh, dependence of the Hamiltonian on the um, on the um, coordinates, okay. And uh, in this sense, uh, what I want to remind you is essentially the fact that uh, you you can derive uh, uh, the laws of thermodynamics uh, from uh, uh, uniquely from uh, the maximum entropy. And uh, this is just uh, restating what I already said uh, in the previous lecture. But in uh, the language of uh, uh, statistical physics, or in the language of thermodynamics. So for example, uh, uh, the zero flow of thermodynamics uh, uh, tells you that uh, if you have uh, uh, systems uh, that uh, two systems uh, that are in thermal contact uh, then uh, they will have uh, the same temperature okay so if two systems are allowed to exchange energy then uh, uh, their temperature should be the same and uh, this is just uh, because if you com com uh, consider the entropy of the cons combined system so here you have, uh, say, imagine you have two systems, one and two, and they can exchange uh, energy. So uh, then if you look at the system as a whole, uh, as a function of uh, the total energy of the system, uh, then uh, uh, this must be uh, the maximum on the energy of system 1 of the entropy of uh, system 1 plus the entropy of system 2 computed in energy which is E1 plus 2 minus E1 okay because the sum of the energies should be E1 uh, plus 2 okay now, if you look at the first order condition of, uh, this of the maximization of this uh, uh, problem, so here again, uh, uh, what enters here is essentially uh, that uh, the entropy of uh, uh, the combined system is the sum of the entropies of the two systems. So this means, uh, this is again uh, the assumption that these two systems are independent. Now this assumption here um, comes from the fact, uh, uh, comes just from maximum entropy. Okay, if you, if you look, if you want, so if, if this system has coordinate uh, x1 and this system has coordinates x2, then the maximum entropy uh, distribution of x1 and x2 it's just the, uh, the so if you want to maximize this uh, the maximum value that this entropy can take uh, is uh, the sum of the two entities. Okay. So um, so this is um, you don't need even to invoke uh, uh, short range interactions so this is just uh, what you uh, what you um, have from uh, uh, maximum entropy although as we have said uh, uh, in the previous lecture so 
the fact that particles interact uh, is uh, important uh, for uh, um, uh, equilibration of the system for uh, what is called mixing okay, of um, the trajectories. Okay, so, so then uh, uh, if we go back and study the first order conditions uh, for this, then the derivative of uh, S1 with respect to E1 uh, plus, now the derivative, I have to take the derivative of S2 with respect to E1, so this is minus the derivative of S2 with respect to its argument, E2 computed in E2, which is equal to E1 plus 2 minus E1. This must be equal to zero, okay? But, uh, well, because of this, uh, so, uh, because this function and this function are related by the Legendre transform, then we know that, uh, yes, the U is going to be equal to beta. Okay, so this equation tells me that uh, uh, beta 1, the temperature, the inverse temperature of uh, uh, system uh, uh, 1, minus uh, the inverse temperature of uh, system 2 must be equal to 0, or in other words, that uh, uh, beta 1 must be equal to uh, beta 2. Okay? which is the zero flow of the thermodynamics. Actually, from this argument, you see also that uh, uh, the... Uh, so if you, if, you, um, if you know the maximization of the entropy itself is the second law of the thermodynamics, in the sense that uh, if, you, uh, if you have... Uh, uh, if you are uh, in a situation where uh, this energy, sorry, I'm using U and E interchangeably. So um, probably I should use U here. Okay, so sorry about this notation problem. And um, okay. Um, so imagine that now you are in a certain situation where you have uh, energy uh, U1 and uh, you make a change uh, from U1 to U1 plus the U1 and then uh, uh, what you should have uh, is that uh, the change in the entropy uh, in the total entropy must be positive, no? Because this, uh, 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 because this, uh, this is a maximum, okay? So the change in uh, the entropy is uh, the derivative of uh, U, uh, S1 with respect to U1, which is uh, beta 1 times E1, and then uh, you have uh, 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 minus uh, uh, plus beta 2 times uh, the, which is the derivative of S2 with respect to E2 uh, times the E2, but because the total energy is conserved, because this uh, uh, energy is just uh, exchanged uh, in uh, the system between system U1 and U2, then uh, uh, this is just uh, beta 1 minus beta 2 times the U1. So the condition that uh, entropy is uh, maximized, so it tells you that this uh, uh, should always be uh, non-negative, that tells you that uh, uh, the energy will flow from uh, a, a 
2 to 1, so if du1 is positive, if du1 is positive, then it means that uh, energy goes from system 2 to system 1. Then, uh, uh, if this is positive, and this also must be positive, so the temperature of, uh, so beta 1 must be larger than beta 2, so the temperature of T1, of, of system 1, should be larger than the set temp uh, should be smaller than the temperature of system 2. Okay, so this tells you that the energy flows from uh, hotter to colder systems when uh, uh, you go to equilibrium. And uh, it never flows the other way around. Okay, so this is uh, a statement of uh, a second law of thermodynamics by um, uh, Clausius, I think, that tells you that uh, the heat always flows from uh, uh, hotter to colder body. And this is actually the way in which you achieve uh, uh, thermal equilibrium. Okay? So, uh, very good. So, and, and so this is uh, zero law of thermodynamics. So, the, the first law of thermodynamics uh, we have already seen uh, it uh, uh, when discussing uh, maximum entropy. It's an entirely, it's an in, it's entirely a consequence of uh, uh, maximum entropy because uh, uh, what we have seen. Uh, So, <clears throat> so what we have seen is that uh, uh, essentially the change in, uh, in the entropy of a, a system when when uh, uh, when I <coughs> I look at two systems, uh, one at uh, well, the expected value of the energy is equal to u. And, um, and, uh, and then uh, I, I look at the modified system where uh, the energy of the system is equal to UX plus some uh, modification. So this would be a modification in the energy levels of the physical system. So the physical systems are uh, changed. And this typically occur when you perform work on the system. When you uh, perform work on the system, you change its uh, energy levels. And, uh, and then uh, you also take a, a different energy, u prime, which is equal to u plus some uh, uh, infinitesimal uh, uh, change du. Okay. So then, uh, what we have seen is that uh, under this, uh, um, if we consider the, the difference in the entropy of this system and this system, then uh, the entropy change uh, is equal to uh, beta times uh, du minus uh, the expected value of uh, uh, delta d of x. Okay, and uh, this is just uh, taking uh, the general relation that we had uh, derived. Uh, the previous lecture where beta was minus lambda and u was called uh, f. Okay, so uh, now you can rewrite this equation in terms of uh, uh, a more familiar term of the first law by saying that du must be equal to uh, the expected value of the change in the energy levels uh, plus uh, 1 over beta times ds. Okay, so uh, this is uh, usually
actually written as uh, D, so, sorry, delta W plus delta Q, where delta W is this uh, and delta Q is, is this. Uh, and uh, this uh, <coughs> tells you that uh, the change uh, in the energy, in the internal energy of a system, is either due to work uh, that you do to change uh, the energy levels of your system, and uh, but uh, you see the um, when the probability distribution does not change, okay. So this is just work done. Uh, so uh, a modification due to the fact that the energy levels of your system change, but the distribution probability distribution does not change, and this is instead. Uh, uh, what is called a heat and uh, is entirely due to uh, the change uh, in the probability distribution okay it's entirely uh, due to a change in the uh, state of knowledge between this system and uh, uh, and this system and this is what called uh, what is called uh, heat notice that uh, well this is uh, uh, the independent variable, so this is a, a, a differential, uh, it's an exact differential, whereas uh, these two are not uh, exact differentials. This one because it is an expected value of differentials, and this one because it is beta times uh, a, a, an exact differential which is uh, the increment uh, in the state function S. Okay, so um, very good. So the uh, now this is uh, essentially uh, the um, uh, the basics of uh, thermodynamics. Then uh, uh, more in general, uh, uh, one. Uh, uh, study systems where the energy is not the only variable that is kept fixed. So there is all, also the volume and the number of particles. And um, so, but again, uh, if you, and as we have seen, uh, if you want to change your description of the system from one where the energy is fixed to one where the energy is allowed to fluctuate, then you have to introduce the conjugated variable, which is beta, and, uh, and derive the, uh, the new potential, which is uh, uh, the free energy. But also, uh, and it is given by, uh, again, a Legendre transform. But also you can, uh, uh, for example, change uh, your description to a description where also the number of particles can be exchanged with the, with the environment, okay? And so you want a description in terms of temperature, the volume, and the conjugate variable to the number of particles which is uh, called the chemical potential. Okay, and this is again is achieved by a Legion transform. Or otherwise, uh, uh, you may want to uh, describe a system in terms of uh, the temperature, the pressure, which is uh, the conjugate variable to, to, to be, and uh, the number of particles, etc., etc. Et so, but Essentially, the, what enters here is always the um, machinery of Legend transform because we are always mapping uh, uh, the description of the same optimization problem in terms of different uh, uh, independent variables, uh, mapping one optimization problem into another optimization problem. Uh, by using uh, uh, the machinery of uh, uh, Legend transform. Okay. So uh, very good. So so what we are going to do next uh, is to uh, 
uh, is to discuss several examples uh, of uh, uh, problems in which this machinery uh, can be used. <coughs>